What's up, geeks? Come on, don't be a view thief. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep the channel growing and keep these reviews coming. Storm mama, 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 mama. All right, geeks, what's up? We're back. Got the next figure in the Zem New Build a Figure Wave. Bring on the bad guys. Don't know why they didn't put that in the box. They put Marvel Super Villains instead. Bring on the bad guys, what everybody's been saying, what they announced it as, and it has a ring to it. But oh well, let's get cracking. Let's look at the box. Dormammu, a maniacal cosmic being with an unquenchable thirst for conquest, Dormammu uses extra-dimensional abilities to invade realms across all planes of existence. Mm. Dormammu in his cage with accessories. Interdimensional demon booty shot. Zemdu claw. All right, we got some hands. We got a fist for punching in the face. Got a claw to crush that skull, and the other claw, and the other fist. Flame on, or use your psychic abilities, or your plasma powers. You get it. So Mr. Mamu feels good in hand. You know when you grab a figure and they just feel solid, weighty, and smooth? Also, when I was setting him up to stand, his limbs felt really good. They didn't feel loose. They had a nice click to him. I can already tell right now that I'm probably gonna be pretty happy with this one. That face is dope. Love that translucent flaming hair. I like you looking through the mask. You can see straight through it. And give you that Ghost Rider feeling. Now his upper shoulder armor it feels like patent leather, but it's really shiny. The rest of his outfit is matte. All the way down to the boots. And he's quite fashionable. He looks club ready. Now be careful. This thing around his face, or I almost called it a tiara. Looks like it comes off. Yeah, it comes off. So you want to be careful with that. You don't want to lose it. It's also kind of patent leathery. What that interdimensional head do? All right, well, let's take that off. Get 360, but be careful. These thorns here, you might accidentally rip them off. Do you get a tilt? Do you get a tilt the other way? Look straight ahead. Really doesn't look down too much. Looks up a little bit, but those flames keep him from going too far back. Under the hood, translucent heaven. All right, no butterfly joints, but he is rocking the pinless look. So that's one thing to be happy about. Arms go up shoulder high. In and back range at the shoulder socket is really shallow. You can clear the Road Warrior gear for a full 360. Bicep swivel. Not at the forearm. Do you get it at the wrist? Got a vertical hinge on this hand. Vertical hinge on that hand. Shooting up. Shooting straight. Shooting at the ground. Got that abdominal crunch joint. Way forward. Kind of way back. There's no tilt in the waist, any direction to help with that. But you do get a 360, it's very smooth. The 
belt is part of the torso, not glued on. That's nice and snug. Some door move bend over motion. Can he can can? Yes, he can can. Decent range kicking his leg back. Thigh swivel. Oh, calf swivel. Really held really well hidden there. Good split range. Now my thigh joints are a little bit loose. See how easily that goes up and down. Hope that's not gonna be a problem when I pose him. Crazy range on the knee. That double joint gets way up. Basically kicking his butt by himself. He's a professional prancer. Look at that, y'all. Gets good range, point the toes down, but not up, so he is not moonwalk ready. No dance for him. He's a wallflower. He ships up hands that are pistol ready. Not sure why. Or maybe more sword ready. I right, swapped out the shipping hands for a grabby hand and a fist. They do have vertical hinges, so you can actually swapped out his ship swapping out the hands he shipped with for his uh, grabby hand and his fist, and they're vertical hinges as well. So you can get a repulsive blast straight ahead. Kiss the cosmic ring. Oh yeah, he's big time. He's a star of the show. He's ready. I'm digging him. So yeah, he was a little loosey-goosey. When I went to stand him up, his thighs were giving me a little bit of problems. Hopefully your joints are a little bit stiffer than mine, but it's not worth returning because I can get him to stand. It's just got to work with him a little bit more. So overall, I think he's an A+. Uh, great paint job, great articulation. He does come with extra hands and accessories, the one thing I always ask for. And of course, he has translucent parts, so you know that's a win for me on any figure. All right, so go ahead and sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you getting more inclined to click this whole wave? I talked to a couple people today that are, and it is a bad wave. I'm digging it so far. Go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up, hit that like button, help the channel grow. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this link with another friend that likes Marvel Legends. Stay tuned. The next figure for this wave will be up as soon as possible. Appreciate it. Till next time, geek out.